Hello everyone, this is William Armstrong. The video is an audio only. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't mean to burp mid-sentence. <coughs> Excuse me. The video is an audio only, meaning that there's no footage, but I'm going to talk about the COVID-19 cases in Australia. I actually have a friend on Facebook that's in Australia that actually is born and lives in Australia that has talked, has mentioned to me about the COVID-19 cases there, and there are a total of 24 cases as I've added the numbers up. There's two cases in one part, seven in the other, and then 15 in Western Australia, and I added them all up and I got 24 out of it. Um, there are two, there's some other parts of Australia, there are five areas of Australia that don't have any COVID cases at all. I got an image from a friend of mine in Australia, but in the YouTube video description below, I'll provide actual links to the Australian government's webpage so you can see more for yourself. Um, America and some other countries have way higher number of cases than Australia is doing, as Australia is taking preventive measures to prevent a massive explosion surge of COVID-19 cases. The USA, which I'm born in the United States of America, has way more cases, and some states have higher numbers of reported cases, and the death rates of the COVID-19 are between, are at least lower or higher. It depends on where and when and how, but um, there was a reported case of COVID-19 at a nursing home in my town that my mom works at and one patient and one employee had it and it was reported from there reported by the the georgia department of public health and cdc and other health reporting agencies in my state of georgia in america i've seen other countries like the uk have a huge wave and i think that south america or latin america might have a big bigger wave of cases than other countries. I could be wrong, but that's just my guess. I could be wrong on that. But for more information, just search COVID-19 on Google or any search engine and you'll get tons of news results coming up at you. For the Australian country, I will post a link in the description from the Australian website, the Australian government webpage, so you can see for yourself as evidence and additional sources to back up to that. To what I just said, but um, the number of COVID cases in Georgia doesn't seem to be increasing too quickly now than it did before. Um, I just hope that the number does not continue to expand in Georgia, but um, other than that, that's all I have to say. William Armstrong signing out, and I will see you next time and talk to you next time. Bye-bye.